play as the Dark of the Wang. Is that a... That's an Arcean fleet. The destination is 107.94. So where would that be? I wouldn't know. Can't be arsed to actually you know, know stuff. That's just crazy. Maybe I just blow up the Indians construct. This is gonna bug me. This could be a relatively easy way to uh <laughs> Hey guys, your ship is crooked. I find that slightly humorous. When you think they'd like fix the crookedness in the Are the Indians down I don't know, most minor races their system tends to be called all the Andeans. Which I can see, you know makes sense. That star base is really heavily defended. Got 36 HP. It's gonna be a bastard to take out. There we go. I figured the corks existed in some capacity. Huh. They got a lot of punch. They got a lot of punch. Damn! Seven and one! How the hell do you do that on a fighter frame? Well, and I probably know. That thing probably moves like one. That thing probably barely moves at all. But the AI can make those trade-offs. Especially if it's fighting defensively. Which is where it gets real annoying. Alright, turn end. Turns are getting a lot longer. Which is unfortunate, because research takes a ton of turns. What was that? It looked white to me, but I only saw it for a second. If we see, like, Arceans massing all across our border, I, uh, just might take the hint. The galaxy is positively great, very great big place. I think we need to work on our translation software. Two frigates in one week. We are blessed. All kinds of stuff is coming in everywhere. Damn right, don't you forget it, boyo. You have nothing. None of these guys have anything. Not a lot of fighters. Troop transports. They got a well-rounded military force. Not too many planets at all, though. Hmm. Now that makes me thoughtful. I've never really cared much way one or the other for the corks. They seem to do better most times, I don't know, just... They're not one of the marginalized races. Alright, you know what? This is just... Taking corks will pretty much give us enough range to go... wherever we please, combined with the yours, certainly. And it will make a nice pincer around Arcea in case we did want to go for that. Alright, I'm officially changing plans, guys. Dringans, you get your moment of reprieve. From my very tough, intimidating, and manly talk. You're the TFV. Corin. Head right to... Hmm... There's like cork space starts about here. So that will be our rally point. Luckily most of the fleet just happens to already be in that vicinity. 
will require a bit of backtracking, which is always annoying, but hey. At least our ships can hack the journey. Ceres Squadron is badly under strain. But that can be mended. Even with three guys, I'm not sure about them going into frontline conflict. I mean, they've got less attack than that one guy that is not out the most modern and impressive fighter. But I mean, if I were to keep up the chain of wars, they look like the next... I wonder if I can war with them and the Yor simultaneously. That would be two weaklings brushed aside by the hand of evolution. My hand. At the same time. Not to imply it would be quick. Nothing about this game will ever be quick. I guarantee you that. Where's Spell Hammer 3? Oh hey, it's on the way. Very good. Spell Hammer 3, you've got another turn of movement in ya. Screw it, just go there. Next turn, we'll make a whole squadron and start moving westwards. Our watchers might actually be able to do us some good here. I will keep a few over this direction to monitor this situation. Ton of economy starbases, that's interesting. Gettysburg, change your tune. All units will change their tunes. And the unwieldy beast of our armada swings around. Wonder how good the cork soldiering is. We had a massive tech lead over them, with which uh, factors into all sorts of uh, ground combat. At least I think it does. The game claims it does. You can never really tell. It's one of those in the algorithm things. Serious? Can I beef you with anything? Looks like mostly frigates coming off the line. I mean, that is the next stage of warfare, especially with our upgrade of logistics. Ah, uh, we'll be able to put a bunch of frigates together and just obliterate the crap out of them. Now, see, here's a corpse fleet that might make an even match for us. Hmm. They actually look pretty damn impressive. We might need to build... Aid and one, are you fucking serious? How are the corpse? What's the status? Huh, they're eight. Militarily, they're nothing special. I'm to understand. Who's the most friendly towards us? Apparently pretty much everyone likes us. Except the Altarians. They hold their nose up at our practicality. Plasma Weapons 2. Something I don't need to research. That's the only thing I need. No weapon tech for us. Uh, probably a smart move in the long term for the AI, but still smacks me kind of unfair. Oh, Dragons. If only we could all take such pride in being space douches, then the world would be a significantly less happy place. Do we have barriers? I don't think we have barriers. Alright, here's what I want. It's hilarious to think about the Dringans making a republic. 
Proposition 482, Slave Torture Pit Construction. Hmm. Soldiering techs are stupid either way. Starbase defenses. I just don't know. Luckily, we can run circles around the dragon. Wait a second. Since I can't trade them laser 2, that implies they have laser 2. So if they have laser 2, why would they value laser? Never mind. It's a gift horse. And I won't glance in its mouth. Master trade. <laughs> 